Hey, Barry here. We're uh, going to show you a custom order that I got a couple of weeks ago for a fellow that wanted uh, one of my fence post banjos. The fence post banjo is basically nasty looking. Looks like it was made behind a shed and uh, pretty rough, except for the neck. The neck is smooth. It's playable. Everything about this banjo is playable, but it just looks nasty. It's got the. It's very, very rustic. The like I said, the uh, neck is finished. It is smooth. However, it doesn't look that way, but it is. And uh, this has all the tone and sound that all the other banjos have, except it's just nasty looking. And uh, I think this is what appeals to a lot of people. We have a rusty nut, a rusty nail up here in the peg head, and it's uh, pretty nasty looking. The, the nut is Corian, same thing that Gibson uses for their banjos. Friction pegs. Got some gray and white weathering stain on this with a little bit of brown in there. It's strung with my standard strings. Hey, Jeff. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is nasty. If you can take a look at the uh, head of the gourd, it is just yucky. It's been dyed, and if you look at the bridge, the bridge is not the nicest thing. However, it's all fixed up before I tear it up. And so it's it's correct in every sense of the word. It just looks nasty. And again, this is, this is the allure to this particular model. I've made a lot of these. Now this gourd here has a two and a half inch sound port and the reason I can get a two and a half inch sound port on this particular instrument is the, as you can plainly see, the gourd is about a half inch thick, five sixteenths to a, uh, I think five sixteenths, seven sixteenths to a half inch thick, so it can handle a, a, a sound hole that size. Sometimes when they're a little thinner, I can't go quite that big, but in this case, every bit. Um, I've got the uh, the tailpiece is also weathered pretty much and it looks fairly nasty. There's nothing nice about any of this thing except the neck and I've got I just strung it up new strings so they're not going to be in tune but you can uh, you can kind of hear that uh, what this little guy sounds like. The neck is oak or the uh, fingerboard is oak, fretless, and the neck, again, is cherry. So this one is going out Monday. And uh, there you have it, folks. I just wanted to share this with you before I box it up, because this uh, every time I make one of these, it gets a little better and better. And, uh, yeah. So here you go. Thanks for watching.